And come right underneath you. Okay. Got my K turned on. I am in auto depth right now. Sure. So. A 20 meter delta. That's probably good for coming underneath. Oh, now you have your altitude showing up. Oh, great. Don't cool. Know. Don't know what that was about. I don't warm up. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Okay. Let's let you get ahead just a bit. So we can see yeah, I there. guess sure. we're still we are still drift uh, kiting a little bit. Yeah, I think we're probably pretty good though. Those sonar hits look or USBL hits look amazing. You you guys definitely earned them. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. It's all good. Sounds great. So it's not really as flat as we suspected. It's a little murkier here. 17 meters off the bottom, can't see it. See it in bubble? Yeah, cool. Maybe I'm not looking at it. <laughs> there we go, there it is, jeez. <laughs> We earned that. <laughs> I'm gonna all stop 20 meters off. Roger artists. that. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> it's just the thing you do when things aren't working right. I'm going to have a little, I'm going to have to come around the other direction here. Should have seen that one coming. Which ways are going to be our move? I think our move is going to be to the east, and I have a wrap in the wrong way. So I'm going to. Okay, well, that, I'll be able to help that a little bit, I think. Will I? Do you want to do it that way, or? We'll, we'll see. I can face. I'll start turning that direction as well. Okay. Let me know when you guys wrap it a white balance. Oh, yeah. Um, let's finish. I think we got a little bit more kiting to do. Roger and, that. And yeah, as soon as as soon as soon we've got a, uh, a Doppler reset in, we will do that. I am out of auto XY. Okay, and you're, we're Doppler resetted. Okay. Great. Is it sediment bounds? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think so bonkers. That first, that mm -hmm. first time you hit auto L, mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, you want to go down as fast as possible? Yeah. No, please no. I'm sorry, I'm pretty far up. It's really much. That's okay. That's fine. Do your. You can do your. Uh, okay. Ready for that white balance video? Roger. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so funny. 
funny. You want to try there? Sure. Oh, so close. Yeah. Thanks. That's great. Okay, we're gonna go black for a moment. Roger. Uh, okay. okay. What directions our move going to be? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. One one zero, Roger. <laughs> uh, science. Before we start, did we want to start with a sample, or what's your plan here? No, we're gonna uh, head down to the bottom take a look around, uh, but we're going to get started up slope immediately. Okay. Um, we'll keep an eye out for rocks, but I'm not optimistic here based on what I see up here. So I think we'll move a little bit, see if there's something obvious. Um, do you want to go at our normal 0 0.2 knots or take it up to 0 0.3? Uh, let's start out 0.2, okay. see what we see. All right, um, I was going to call a longer move in, uh, 200 meters, but we can stop the ship if we need to. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not put in too much um, layback at this moment, just okay. in case there is something we need to Copy, sample. I'll make it shorter. One, one, zero. And whenever you guys are ready. I am ready. You ready, Josh? I'll be ready in about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, sounds great. <laughs> Do you need to do yeah. some heading changes? <laughs> no, no, he's going to be ready in 15, 20 minutes when the move actually, when actually gets to our. I, I actually have there. I actually have a request. Is it possible to redo white bounce? Yeah, Sorry. absolutely. I had a dial in the wrong position. Sorry about that, everyone. We can get moving yeah, if totally. you want to do it. Yeah, we and we got time. We got yeah. really lots of time. Bridge, Nav. Yeah, it's a good time to mess with the camera back here, too. Can we move 100 meters bearing 110? I'm just like very ready to get going. <laughs> 0 0.2 knots. Thanks for checking on that. It's Video, I'll just be flying in Argus, so Roger that. do whatever you got to do. Thanks. up for me just a little bit okay let's try that thanks okay, okay going black for a moment Roger. Thank you. Oh, look, a rock. A rock. A loose rock. Putting the carrots maybe. out now. <laughs> <laughs> Z 
These pockets of sediment are perplexing. Oh, yeah? What's caused them? Not sure. I wonder if they're just like divots in the rock. Yeah. And they just sort of swallow up a lot of sediment. I see some holes. They seem quite large, though, for it to be like a benthic species. Kind of yeah. Around. Kind of irregular shaped, too. Yeah. I think, so we were seeing, remember when we were on that ridge, sort of at the end of our watch yesterday, there were all these pockets in the rock um, on the current word side that were that were soaking up sediment. I wonder if it's a little bit like that. These are like broken spots in the rock. They kind of look like mounds, don't they? Can we like, check our tilt position after that? Yeah. Thanks. A little bit better. So this might be, let's see if this, we can tell whether this is a mound or not. There's some fecal casts in there from a holothurian or some oh, yeah, worm. Oh yeah, I see that. Huh. Strings. Yeah, it is a mound. That's crazy. That is bizarre. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, they, they have some volume to them. Can we... I wonder if we can do a push core. Either. <laughs> well, let's just maybe put a, a footprint in it, see what happens. Uh, like a like a porch print? Yeah, porch okay. print. Okay. I've got a porch. <laughs> could also poke it. Could poke it, yep. We'll just try not to pick up. Too much, much dirt. sediment or else we're going to be dealing with it yeah with i'll dive, just which is super annoying what do you think about just the front bumper yeah just try not to scoop any don't look like a okay. pile of dirt on the this. Well, that's pretty soft yeah. yeah it's super soft very strange that there you go you just did a cross section yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, nice look at cross that. cross section. There you go. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Oh, we're going to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up Kidding. a bit. Looks like the current's moving down slope, so just keep moving up slope. Won't be a problem. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Except God. every time you stop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Up it'll, slope. It'll wash off of it. Yeah. That's really interesting. Those are just giant piles of like super silty, super clay sort of you just something hand, you or other. Just hand that to Trevor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happily. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. There's tons of them. He's very forgiving. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Lesson learned. Josh, I didn't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and I should have. I was like, no, it'll be fine. And it will be fine, just not very pretty. Ugh, rats. Wonder. I'm gonna wag a little. Car wash. Yeah. This is our little touchless car wash here. Yes, please. Actually, going up and down seems to do better, even. Steve, what are these things? Oh, I'd say it's probably piles of sediment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Glad we brought him along. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know why they could be making mounds. I mean, that that tells you something about the current uh, in this area. It's probably not very strong enough to scour, but just strong enough to keep them 
I don't know, formed? You think we're just kind of at like the bottom of the hill and that's just sort of where the, yeah, but the flow it's oddly piled up? Pocket shaped, yeah. Uh, ROV, it looks like the slurp might be kind of creeping out. I keep zooming past it, but it keeps coming back into frame. Uh, oh, it might be that. Uh, okay. Maybe it was spinning. I'm not sure. It's pretty soft stuff, so you know, it's probably derived from some sort of material upslope possibly but could also be pockets of sediment that have drifted out falling down out of the water column it looks pretty organic uh you know darker colored um, like it might have some something that a sea cucumber might like to eat or something which is why we probably saw those traces you're you're muted how did I pick up infinity dust? Like, why is this just going to keep happening? This is going to, it gets caught up in the grating underneath. Uh huh. And then, so fine, it packs in there. And then, uh, I think flying backwards helps the most. Yeah, you can do kind of a forward back, side to side little car wash thing. But as long as we keep moving forward, it'll shake really like through. a wet dog. Yeah, yeah I definitely, basically. I love yeah. that. That's a good one. So it took Argus six minutes to move after the ship's okay. three minutes move. Oh, that's a uh, oh, that? It's a cucumber. That's a cucumber? Oh. Yeah, it's yep. Holothurian, swimming. Right? Well, we can't get a good look at it because I went and covered us in dirt. <laughs> that's a nice look. It's on the list yeah, of, of sea cucumbers to collect. Um, Go for zoom. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to do a flying collection here? I don't know if it, I don't know if it would be... Uh, you could do that. Wow. I don't, yeah. Wow, that's it's really so awesome. cool to see them swim. This one, so usually different. they were too big in the past mm. to sample. Oh. They were just absolutely massive. They wouldn't even oh, fit in the okay. slurp jar. I don't know that we could slurp. That. If it's if it's too big, I, we could move on. Anything else? It's you find big. these things on the s sediment too, and not just. Yeah, it might be Only easier if it was just kind of sitting there. Yeah. Uh, well, no sorry, wonder. Sorry, video. This is, I should have known better. It's all good. I usually listen to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I would say like 99% oh. of the time. On the plus side, we probably saw that sea cucumber because we were yeah. shedding so much sediment. It's like dinner. Oh, interesting. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, it's, not, it's not realistic. <laughs> it's not realistic. I, let's go with it. You brought the sea cucumber to us, Gabby. So. I only know these things because I've made pretty much every mistake. I know. Is that, <laughs> is that another sea cucumber right in the middle? Uh, oh, could be. It was between the, the laser V. But I feel like I've made enough mistakes that you told me not to make that I know to listen to you. He just said don't plow it. Oh, okay. Not don't neatly cross-section it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice cross-section. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give you that. Is this the same one? Uh, let's take a peek. So dark. It's, it's very not, similar. It's not the same one. Oh, okay. Go for zoom. But we can take a peek anyway. This is something else. Yep. Really? Not among our collection targets, though. Rats. Oh, I know why I'm bouncing around. There's many reasons.
this patch up here coming up looks like it has some pretty heavy bioturbation in there, which suggests okay. that there's some animals living inside. Bioturbation is when you have worms or sometimes small crustaceans living in the sediment and they excavate burrows and they leave these mounds uh, of sediment adjacent to their homes in the sediment. But uh, sometimes they can persist for very, very long periods of time out here because the sedimentation rate is so slow. This silt is so light, like yeah. just a little bit of thruster wash from, you know, three meters up is disturbing it. Yeah, yeah you can see it kind of so blowing off. That's a burrow right there? Um, that one, yeah, actually yeah. that one looks rather substantial. Bottom left of the lasers. I was thinking of the, oh, I don't think my tool here, these burrows, oop. Oh, whoa. Um, okay. What is Wrong that? Tool. Was that a hey, zoom? It's zoom? It's the, the circle zoom tool, yeah. Wow. You've been holding out this go. tool? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Burrow. Wow. That is a pretty big hole though. Yeah, yeah it that is. That is a perfect shaped hole. What is living in there? Let's look in it. Yeah. Oh, Steve's just showing off all the tools. <laughs> <laughs> that is my special superpower. <laughs> I don't have many. Go for zoom. I have secret weather reports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, something in there. I think there's a similar hole on one of the other mounds that I saw. Wow. Oh, weird. Interesting. It is so round. I really want to, like, I think there's I'll something slowly in there. expose this so you don't ruin your eyes. Oh, see if you can get the... I see oh. something in there. I think I see something in there. Yeah, yeah. totally. Who something squishy you? lives in there. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Everybody's eyes okay? Yeah. I really want to see this thing. I feel like we'll I'm looking into the like sun sunset. Yeah. Solar eclipse. Yeah, I don't know. Not gonna <laughs> see. I mean, I yet. see something, but like not enough. Yeah, no, it's. I, I think it was actually better darker. All right. Well. It's not coming out to say hi. Okay, go wide. It's a. It's a fine. Find home, find real estate. All right, when we have enough coins in the bank, let's um, start looking around for a rock, maybe. Okay. Have we ever put an extra flashlight on Herc? That the manipulator can pick up. I think I've done a flashlight. No. I've definitely picked up like and picked cameras. up a like a light stick before yeah. and uh -huh. shown that around to like get really nice imagery. Cool. Um, there's also a type of manipulator that has like a light on the end, but also a camera. Okay. Uh, and that's what the light is for. Yeah, flashlight is probably. An and flashlight is ex is exactly what it's like, like a little like light this big around. Done a selfie, a GoPro. <laughs> oh, what, cool, what a selfie depth? stick. Oh, what depth did you have the GoPro? Uh, can't remember. It's pretty GoPros deep. There's, will there's go these little deep. housings that can go to like yeah. 3,000 meters. Wow. And then there's bigger housings that'll go even deeper. Well, yeah, the homemade ones, yeah. There's an off-the-shelf one you can buy that's... Really? Uh, goes to like 25, yeah, I want it, uh, 3,000? I don't know. 1,500 for sure. I have one of my little ROV. Oh, really? Yeah. It's amazing, they have amazing really video. Really beautiful. Like amazing video for yeah. a GoPro. Like yep. It's just bonkers. really beautiful low light stuff. What settings do you use? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the top of my head. Like going all the Pro Tune stuff. Yeah. Go look at the Sea Star uh, down here in the. Yeah, totally. Call. I will not be landing on any more mounds. I hope. Go for zoom. Another burrow. It's eating. Oh, yeah. Ah. It's like some sort of goniasterid, maybe, or a porcinolasterid. 
sampled something that kind of looks a little similar. Very skinny legs, Wide. but cookie-shaped disc. Consistently forget to turn on porch because oh, it's one of my favorite fish called porch. This one? What is yeah. it? Go for zoom. So porch light is back. No, it's um, it's the uppers, but it's called porch on our light circuit because of the way that, that it is. One? Gotcha. What's that? Is this that lizard fish one? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love these two. Yeah. Oh. Bathysaurus. Yeah. Auto heading. <laughs> Go for zoom. Bathysaurus, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not about auto heading some of the time. He's weird looking, huh? Yeah, the eyes on top of his head. It's like bedazzled. Yeah. yeah, he is. Is it two fins on each side? It looks like it has. Oh, is that true? And it might oh, not like be. Oh, like the pelvic fin and the pectoral fin. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. They're just very close together. Huh. Yeah, they they're ambush predators, so they you typically find they're oriented upslope uh, in some way, and this one kind of is. Uh, and as some animals might be floating down slope, cool. they can Go wide. pop up and ambush them. I'm very curious what makes these mounds so stable. The slope is reasonably steep here, but the mounds are just cohesive. Maybe it's maybe it's just that there's I don't know more more glue like this organic material that we find here seems to be fairly cohesive stuff. You know, it's not very fine grain stuff we're seeing coming off the vehicle. Maybe it's just something that keeps it together. Shout out if you see a good rock. Did we see one right when we touched down? Should be one coming into view to the right, just to the right. Right There's there. a rock right, right up there. there. That's oh, a big, that's, that's a it. super big one. That's a big rock. There's a rock. But there's others. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, maybe one of those. Any of those? That one yeah, of the, interest? That, okay. that triangular one. Oh, I like the giant one. Plenty good rock. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. I should come up a bit. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Can I see the arm on bubble?
Looks good. Right. Can we do uh, zoom and close up? Okay. Do you have time? Yeah, we do. Okay, let me see if I can light it a little better there. Not sure what those white lines are, but we'll take a look at them when we get closer. Get it back up on deck. Looks like a plenty decent rock. Okay. All right. Where do you want it to go? Oh. Uh, can we go try in the, one of the starboard smaller compartments first? Okay. We can definitely do that. Um, yep, you can give me uh, that salvo. Uh, what sample number is this? 70? Uh, this is sample number 75. Oh, sorry, cameras. It's all good. I got them. Okay. We're sitting at thirty seven forty one. Dive level. Yep. And we're going to want to pair a water sample with that too. Roger. All right. 
Number six. Number six. Oh, thanks. Sure. I, I was watching it move and being like, I still have to move my pen until. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, great, great job on the collection. Thanks. I think we can get a move on. Yeah, um, let's do it. Start to do those longer moves now that we have one under our belt. Okay, yeah, you can put the move in, Kate. You got it. Bridge, Nav. Never thought I'd be so happy about a loose rock. That was so smooth this time. Can we please go 200 meters bearing 110? Are there any specific biological samples that we're looking for on this dive? Um, you know, we have a checklist uh, that we've maintained across the last two cruises. Um, these are kind of just high priority uh, question marks in the environment. Um, things that we don't have proper identifications for, things that may be difficult to identify from video. Um, but for the most part, there's no specific samples or kind of have uh, premeditations for, for oh, nice jelly. Teeny little jelly. Yep. It's beautiful. It's odd. It doesn't even look like it's like normally you see the tentacles are kind of pulsing. It looks very still. Yeah. Sure, it'll move once it hits the bottom. They don't really like to hit the bottom. Yep, there there we go, a little oh. pulse. Oh, cool. So okay, go wide. <laughs> That's neat. Um, but yeah, we have some, some targeted collections we're interested in. Namely, we're trying to collect some holothurians for uh, uh, one of our scientists ashore, sea cucumbers. These are used in an ongoing study uh, from the region. Uh, we also have some collection targets um, from our previous uh, science lead, uh, Chris Kelly, who uh, has some unknown organisms that he would like us to sample if we see them. And he's been following along intermittently. He's been collecting a few of them. So all of these... Um, mounds have like a ton of sea cucumber poop on them, right? Yeah. Yeah, th that's why I'm thinking there there's some sort of organic glue that's keeping them yeah, that's together. Yeah, wild. Yeah. Like all around the base here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, those, those are definitely interesting traces. Could there be some sort of magnetism? that pulls them together, helps create the piles. Like maybe current in, in conjunction with organic glue? Yeah, I you know, the current down here, I would suspect, based on how these big and numerous these things are, is probably pretty slight, right? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we the clouds of sediment didn't like want to get out of there very yeah. quickly. It's, yeah, it's pretty mellow. Sluggish, yeah. Go for zoom. It's a weird little thing, like growing out of that mound. Oh, I see. Right there, there's uh, yeah, there's 
bumps and holes all over these mounds. Yeah. Probably still home to some residents. Uh, there are a couple of Xenophyophores fours I've seen also. Um, they're fairly common from these sedimented environments because they make their homes out of gluing together sediments. Uh, the, the the circularness is kind of throwing me you know there's different shapes but most of the shapes are circular yeah go for zoom like half zoom want to find one more oh oh what's yeah that are you there? looks like uh like some sort of lobster Oh, huh. maybe a polychelid. Let's take a look. Yeah, interesting. It looks almost like translucent. Then. Oh, wine. I thought it was going to be something more. This could be one of those burrowers, uh, but usually we find them on the bottom. But I suppose they could be burrowers. Hmm. You're just right at the end of your tether. Okay, thanks. Come down a little bit. It's quite large. It's yeah, big. Go for zoom. Oh, yeah, it's definitely oh, what? in the sediment there. Yeah. That's so odd. It's buried oh. a bit, yeah. It definitely looks like a polychelid. Huh. Uh, one of the blind lobsters, deep sea lobsters. Yeah, not sure. You said it's blind? Yeah, I, I don't think they have... Uh, any eyesight at this depth. Hmm. We Who's saw that we saw them a bit shallower as well on the rocky surfaces, but I've never seen one burrowed like this. It was just kind of been lying on the rock surface. Um, let me find. Wow, cool. It's a nice shot though. It almost looks like a little, like chicken or turkey. I know. <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> looks like a cozy spot to nap. Totally. Yeah. That soft sediment. Yeah. Okay. Go wide. All right. Maybe in the genus Homerion. Has he been digging around, like just to his right? All that. It like, could sort be. Of... Yeah. That's cool. I don't know what kind of animals they are if they're. Uh, scavengers, or if they're predators of the infauna. Let me write that name in the chat before I forget. Oh, wrong computer. Sent it via the uh, direct messages channel. Ashley, did you get a look at those crinoids that came up? Oh, yeah. We were talking about it a little earlier, and I was very happy. <laughs> Just very cool to see them. And, and they stayed together, right? They didn't fall apart too um, too badly. Yeah, for the most part, they were together. They did lose uh, a couple of the ends of their arms, but for the most part, pretty intact. Nice. That's a really pretty one, that deep purple color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was beautiful. Oh, there's a fish, Cuskiel, in the uh, bottle, bottle camera. It's flashed, gone. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. 
Bunny. Shrimp. Go for zoom. Ooh, that's a nice little shot on that. Oof. <laughs> They're so funny. They are really strange. There's a lot of weird locomotion down here. There really is. Yeah, the legs look so soft and malleable Ooh, in this oop. one. There he goes. Dipped away. <laughs> Steve, are all the lobsters oh. down here going to be blind then? Go or did you say blind because this one uh, you know, um, is? The fish. I would imagine they probably are not using uh, or not relying on visible light as much. It's so dark. Probably yeah, sensory, did. other sensory. Yeah. Ooh, hey, buddy. look at this. There's no light here, but that doesn't mean they can't see in other wavelengths, for example, mm -hmm. which is known for other arthropods like mantis shrimp, for example. Okay. You know, they see in okay, go many different wavelengths. Um, so I, wild. I think that uh, for the most part, what these animals are relying on are other sensory structures, you know, chemo sensory structures, you know, physical um, sensory, uh, you know, hair is in, you know, mm, on their sense. body. Got some viewers who are just tuning in, wondering about these circular lighter areas. Um, and we're wondering about them too. They're definitely these mounds of this pretty fine sediment. So a little while earlier, we kind of touched into them um, and it was pretty fine and kind of blew up into the air. So we know they're soft, um, but we haven't really seen anything like this on our previous dives. So we are also curious. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, if it's even deep enough to do something like a core. I'm not sure. I, I imagine they're not. You know, we'd have to find something I, like tall. Yeah. I, think. I mean, the one you pressed into looked like it was at least yeah. ten inches. I think or you a get foot. Yeah. you get a little bit. Yeah. They're extensive. Um, might be interesting to note. To note. Uh, grain size information. Um, but yeah, finding a, a good sized one is would be a good idea. It do, I, I I would assume you know if I looked at this, you know, I didn't know the context that they were probably initially depressions. But um, I don't think there's really any evidence that these are depressions, or they started out as depressions and then just filled in. It's a big one. Oh yeah, that one looks a bit higher. The thing about cores is that you know if, if you want to preserve the stratification, taking a core on a slope isn't always the best idea. That would kind of be a you know relative to the surface yeah. of the sediment of the mound. Ooh, there's a fish. Large it's a fish. fishier area. I would imagine if you took a core through this, you'd probably find some pretty strong evidence of bioturbation over time as well. Pockets in the top couple centimeters that usually indicate there has been some worms or you know, small crustaceans or other animals living in and around the top few centimeters. I just want to know what was in that hole. Maybe we'll find another.
Steve, what do you think the odds are that nobody really knows what these mounds are about? You know, I think that people probably have hypotheses about how they could have formed, but I, I haven't seen anything like this. Um, so they, they could be something completely new, sure. All the more reason to try and understand how spatially distributed they are. Maybe get a sample or so. This is a nice big size mound here. Not too slopey. That, um, are we at a good stopping point potentially? Yeah, yeah we can stop. The thing is about... Um, Bridge, now. Nah. You might have to get your toes back into that to core it well. Okay. You know? I'll stop, please. What do you have in mind? You want a core sample? Yeah, I mean, we have five cores. We rarely use them, so why not? Gives us an idea of maybe what the content of the sediment could be. Seems pretty tall. Oh yeah, you can get a good core to that probably. Yeah. Oh no, it's gonna be like this, huh? <laughs> That's what I was concerned about. Is that you know, it's just if you tried to touch it, it would kind of just poof disappear. Yeah. Okay. Um. But there's a lot of fecal casts. You can see tr traces there, here. Do you want to go in at the angle of the slope, or do you want to go uh, kind of perpendicular vertical? to the top of the? Yeah, so you want to keep try to keep it perpendicular to the top of the slope or to the top of the mound. And you know, if it doesn't go in very much, that also tells us something that is pretty interesting. For several. Yep. So, Josh, I haven't done a coral cutter Ooh, core we before. We're about to have a great time. I <laughs> am looking forward to it. I am open to suggestions. Like, which is your favorite? <coughs> the easiest one, one is the one with the forwardmost one. The forwardmost one? Yeah, because then there's not so much in the way. Okay. And so, why don't you go for that one? And you sort of have to, you can't just open wide. You have to. Right. Vanessa. And I'd be grip force nine. And I can come out further if you feel that's a better spot for you. Can I give you the little further away? That's easier or whichever you like. And you might want to rotate 180 with the jaw. Okay. Put the oh, cutter sorry. on the top. Because you don't really don't want to like grab that. Gives you a little more. You kind of get it out on the fingers, right? Okay. Mysterious mounds. That's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> Mystery mounds. I like it. Yeah, so you have to be right out on the tippy. Another piece of chocolate fingers. for that reference. Tippy tips. Ooh. Smart. Awesome. I'll leave it right there for you so it's exactly the same spot. And then if you try not to kind of smear the angle, you know what I mean? Like if you don't allow the oh, core tube to yeah, move, it'll the... be the same angle when you get back. Okay. So it's easier that way. Can you look up a little with bubble? Yeah, it's just a bit. Thanks. That's all I got there. It's 
until I get there. I can rack back and that'll give you a little bit more side if you want. But yeah. <coughs> Tall mound. Yeah, it is. So I would say, yeah, try and go in and perpendicular as possible so you can get a good section. Do you want, I'll go back to dive. Thank you. Uh, great. This is, um, looks like the duct tape with red, maybe, on the core tube. I'll get a good zoom of it later, though. Very fluffy. Very liquidy. Yeah, let's see how sticky it is. That's all the way in there. Nice. I'll give you the dive salvo. Pretty yep. cohesive. Uh, yeah. Go for you it. ready for that? Yep. Or the, sorry, the sample salvo. Yeah. You just kind oh. of have to find that same. That same angle, same position that you were in when you grabbed it. There you go. You gotta come a little more shoulder up. And oh, move. it's coming keep out. Going. Keep going, go, 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 go. Keep going. Don't stop. Up a little bit. I don't think there's anything left of it. it might oh. be, yeah, uh, it might have slipped out there. Oh, well, yeah, we yeah. lost the whole thing. You want to try one more time before the next watch comes in? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Sure. That was pretty, pretty quick. Um, oh, rats. That's okay. You just gotta be. I think I don't want to use continuous wrist on that. I think that was too jerky. Sure. Yeah. Go back to dive salvo. Give you some camera. Oh, it's a little washed out. You're definitely getting far behind. Yeah, I'm keeping an Oops. eye on it a little bit. That's all the way. Those those core tubes are about thirty centimeters long. It gives you an idea of approximately.